it really requires a lot of uh, focused commitment in the lab. And I, I expect my students to be there when I open the doors and they should be there the whole time. They, they can't leave early. And she's always there first thing and just really, really into what she's doing. And I just out of the blue get an email from this student that I had never met, um, a long email, introducing herself and telling me that she really was interested in graduate school and ecotoxicology and she had seen that's what I did on the website. And she went on to say, you know, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have a family that went to college. Nobody around me has ever pursued this. So not only was she looking for somebody to do research with, she was looking for someone to mentor her and help her to figure out what on earth it was she was doing. She knew what she wanted, she just didn't know how to get there. I think she does a great job at, at capturing all of those elements that make a student good. So she's driven, she's focused, she knows what she wants to do. She's good at goal setting and managing herself and rounding all of that out. One of the most important aspects of being a good student is enthusiasm. She is so passionate about what she does that she's just bubbling over, smiling, laughing. And she'll come up to her professors, me included, and, and just say, I love this class with so much zeal. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun to see that. I started fall of 2012. I was 29 years old and I was a nursing major for two semesters. And I kept telling all of my professors in my human anatomy classes, you know, if I were 18 years old and not a mother and not a wife and not old, because of course I thought I was old, um, what I would really love to do is pursue a graduate degree, a PhD, and become a marine biologist. Uh, I've always wanted to do that, but like I said, I didn't think that I was smart enough when I was 18. And so after two semesters in human anatomy and as a nursing major, I just was like, what am I doing? You know, this is my career. I'm the one that has to put the work into my degree. I'm the one that has to live with this career for the rest of my life. Uh, I talked to my husband about it and I was like, you know, how would you feel if I, instead of getting an associate's degree, got a PhD? And he was completely excited about the possibility that I would be pursuing a dream as opposed to a job with a good paycheck. Which, not to say nursing isn't other people's dreams, but it wasn't, it certainly wasn't mine, it was my sister's. So um, I changed my major to biology and that was the exact same time they began building People's Hall. So it was a really exciting time for me to start as a biology major because of everything that we now have um, in the new science building. So I haven't looked back since. It's been really great. So. The money was really the driving force of how bad things got, but I also started, I took kind of a leap in my career into a different type of salon where I was a booth renter, which means you essentially work for yourself. You are your own receptionist, you buy your own products, you do everything. Well, it turns out I'm not very good at that. So that also made things get worse. And I mean, there were months that we couldn't pay our power bill. We went an entire winter, one year without paying the gas bill because when gas prices got really high, our heating bill got really high and we couldn't pay it. And so we had to go the entire winter without, you know, and, and I, had, I had a baby. So it was, it was not a pretty scenario. Um, you know, it, it got so bad eventually that, you know, my mother was helping me pay my rent every month. Um, it really started to, it took me from being this, you know, I started a career at 18 and I was, you know, woo! And it, it really, really hit me emotionally 
very negatively. I started to feel like, you know, I wasn't a good enough person, like I was a, becoming a loser, that, you know, it just, it just lots of negative things happened because of that financial struggle. I felt kind of pathetic, I think. Um, you know, I lived on ramen noodles and honey buns from the gas station, you know, things like that. The last month before I finally just called my sister and said, okay, I, I'm, I'm moving to Dalton. This is what we've decided. I'm going to need some help moving. They had, her and my mother both helped me move here. They paid my first month's rent. They paid my first power bill. Sometimes there were weeks that I did good, but it was very, it was like this. It was very inconsistent. And uh, so losing the water for an entire month was, you know, and I felt like at that point I couldn't ask my mother for more money, you know? I mean, I was basically draining them, getting help from them. And um, so it just, it just got really bad, you know, where I would have to drive to the store, you know, in the morning to wash my hands and wash my face and, you know, that kind of stuff. So, so I called my sister and I was like, you know, I'm, I want to move to Dalton. I want to start college. And, uh, and so I did. <laughs> my experience over the past three years at Dalton State, just, just taking you back to the day I moved here where I was at mentally. It was pouring down rain, so it was hideous. It was December, so it was freezing cold. And I got here and I looked at this, you know, suburban area that I'm living in. And actually, my house is even over in Rocky Face. It's even more country. And I just thought, what have I done? I, I'm pretty sure I just made the wrong decision. I love this school. And I don't even know the girl that I was when I moved here anymore. I, me and my husband will sometimes look at each other when I'm telling him about my day, and he'll just say, can you believe how much you've changed? And, and this year, because it's my senior year, I'm really emotional about it. And I never expected when I moved here to get attached to people and to a school. I thought that I would come here, go to class, leave, get my degree, and get out. And that's not the case at all. It's funny because a year ago, if you would have asked me if I was going to go into a PhD or a master's program first before doing a year's worth of undergraduate research, I would have said I need a master's first because when you read the credentials on the website for what you need to, to even get into a PhD program versus a master's, a year ago I was like, I can't, I can't do that. Now, when I read those same credentials, thanks to my amazing mentors, I'm like, I got that. I could totally do that. There are people here that I will keep in touch with for the rest of my life, that I truly care about. This place has changed me as a person in the best way a person can change. There is not a day, never, there, I have bad days like everybody, there's not one single day that I wake up and don't tell myself, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, just complete contentment. And, and I owe 99% of that to Dalton State. I really do. This community here, and just, it's been amazing. It's been really incredible.